Okay, here's the bike. Just uh, cleaned and oiled the chain, pumped up the tires. The front roll bag's already on, and I'm ready to set it up. Okay, right pannier. And into the right pannier we'll go. First of all, So, air mattress. And I'm going to the bottom. This is the extra air pump for the air mattress. It's from a different air mattress, but it's a lot bigger than the one that comes with the Sea to Sky air mattress. Next, new Sea to Sky sleeping bag. Brand new, haven't tried this out yet, or see the summit. Uh, wrapped because it's going to be wet out. And you can this it goes. So, right now it's taking up more space than it might. Okay. This is the tent fly, and basically I just cram it in there. And that allows me to get it into the extra spaces where the sleeping bag and the air mattress aren't. So see right down the side here, crammed in there. And hit all the way down. So you can see how far my arm went. Next. Here's the tent itself, my big Agnes. Again. It's no need to be neat. Turn it in there and again yeah, fits the spots nicely. And finally the ground sheet through the tent. That goes in here. Again we cram it in and seal this thing up. So that's all that's going to go in here. And we put that on the right hand side. Make sure this is above. And then it's going to put down here underneath. So we have to make sure it clips right. A little annoying. It's a bit hard to see. Maybe I normally put it on the other side. <laughs> that would get these back. much more easily. There we go. And a little clippy thing is behind the bag here. So. Get 
wrap that. And that's one pan here. Done. This, like this, will be mostly waterproof. I'll just turn the bike around. And we're ready to do the next. All right, so this is my CPAP, and I'm just going to get the mask. All right, and here's the mask. And I'll just unclip this, and I'll put it right in here. So I'll put this in first. And that way the mask is protected by the cord, or by the tubing. I'll just get that stuffed in there. There's a lot of stuff. Stuffing that happens. I think other people fold, but I think stuffing works just as well and it's a whole lot faster. And we'll put that in here. And we've got a fair amount of room. Next up is what I call the ditty bag. Here it is. And this is a towel. Spare earbuds, water bottle, and water filter, so these work together. I probably won't need to filter water on this trip, but you never know. Advil, uh, Tylenol, because I'm old after bite in case I get mosquito bitten, polysporin in case I cut myself. Hand sanitizer, which I don't use nearly as much as I should. My spork goes in my ditty bag, but not in my food. Soap. Uh, toothbrush. And toothpaste. Sensodyne, because I have sensitive teeth. <laughs> uh, drill. Lighter. This other lighter is going to go with the food, so I'll put that over here. Spare earbud bud thingies. Patch kit. And I have another patch kit somewhere here. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It's a big patch kit. So all of this goes in the ditty bag. No real order to it, it just goes in. Wires. Oops, not that one, the big one. When I go on the long trip, I will of course make sure I have fresh lighters. Even the towel goes in. Probably doesn't have to, but it can. There we go. In the watertight bag. <laughs> Seal it up. Squeeze the air out. And it goes on top and there we go there we go camera's been shutting off and I don't know why so I don't know how good this video will be but <laughs> and seal this up here again this is pretty much waterproof sealed up like this Okay, and we'll get this on the bike. Just move that up there. We have a train going by. Head outside. Get this to the back. Okay, and then you just put the little thingy there. And there's the second pannier all set. Okay, next up we have the frame bag. And of course, I was careful when I sized it to make sure that it fits this bike. I'm going to have to remove that little uh, water bottle stand though first. Okay, water bottle holder is off. Put the frame bag on. It's actually pretty easy to install. Except for the, the whole Velcro thing. So, 
put it in here. And this this will hold it pretty solid. Maybe like this. So I'll that. And just have to be a little bit careful about that cable there. You notice it is sized to fit this bike. Well, more accurately, I took measurements of the bike before I bought the uh, frame bag. And put them on the bottom here. There's another one here. Some more Velcro to go with. Mostly the bag just hangs, right? And it's clipped on these other things just for just to hold it in place. And I'm being careful here. I have a wire, a cable, or something. Oh, it's for the, uh, the front derailleur. So I need to be careful not to damage that as I put this in. There we go, frame bag installed. Yeah, I reserve the frame bag for heavy stuff and the heaviest stuff I have are my batteries so that's what I reserve it for so I have two of these these are the Mediostrom batteries they're for my CPAP one per night and uh, we already saw that I can charge them if I want so I'm going to again put them in plastic bag to make sure they stay dry nothing worse than the battery <laughs> no, I guess I should have got a bigger bag I'll actually do that later so they just go right down there in the far corner see the idea is to put the heaviest stuff in the frame bag it's the lowest center of gravity and the weight also is the best distributed so also I have my power bank so we'll put that in here put that in again it's watertight container <laughs> and I have one charger just in case you know and we'll put that in here and I have another charger which we'll also put in here not all my chargers are in the same place Here it is. So I can actually charge two things at once, three things at once if you include my uh, CPAP batteries. Goes in, seal up my little container. Again, fussing around with these stupid closing things. I, I don't know why they're so hard to close. Here's the arrow because that in there and now we'll put our peanut butter in here a little bit yeah. we'll put our granola in here it's not a full bag of granola and again I'm going to squeeze the air out this is a little known fact but air actually has weight Up, we have the seat bag. The seat bag clips in underneath the seat. Now, I also have a little tool here. It's just in a little packet here. This has uh, knives and a little light that doesn't work. Anyhow. So these are my knives, <laughs> I like my little knives, so the seat pack, the key to the seat pack is it clips in underneath here, it's also the biggest pain about it, but again, 
So you have to make sure. Okay, first of all, let's get it right side up. Okay, that. Okay, so here are the side clips. They just clip in underneath the little wires in the seat. So they'll clip in. Or they wrap around and then there's wires in the back. They're not wires, but connectors in the back. And you connect to them. And I like this because it's these are sized so that you can't connect the wrong things in the wrong place. So I'll put this around here now. Again, once this is installed, I don't need to do this again. Get this little knife out of the way here. If there's some other clippy thing, I'll put that. Another training, because why not? And then a lot of the work is done by this strap in the front that wraps around the seat post. And there we go. So there's my bag. And in my bag, I will put for this ride two, two spare tubes. I'll stuff these way in the back so that they'll be safe and not accidentally punctured by anything. And actually, I'll even put some spare gloves in there in front of the tubes to protect them from whatever falls. Okay. And now my bike repair kit. Not a whole lot to it. Um, air pressure gauge, not as useful here, tape, uh, tire removal thingies, uh, tube repair kit, tube patches, don't know if those work, but they said they do. Uh, this is a chain tool, spoke tightener, don't need the, uh, CO2. CO2 is not very useful on the big tires. You have to get extra large CO2 canisters. Uh, this is a screwdriver with multiple heads. Uh, this is instructions for the chain tool. <laughs> Another tube repair kit. More tube removal things. Cleaner. Uh, and now this is the the top of the CO2 thing, I don't need that. This is a three-sided chain removal or spoke tightening tool. And more odds and ends patches. That should hold me. And as you can see, I got this, right? My tool, my multi-tool. I think I forgot that. That's most of what I need. Oh, I'll put the light on there. Maybe a little more than I need, but I keep all of this and I just keep it in this very well worn waterproof bag and seal it up. Squeeze out the air. Make sure everything's lying flat first. A little cleaner thing, things not too. All right. Seal it up. And pack it in there. I didn't mention it, but there's a spare chain link as well sitting in the bottom of that. So that's it for the seat pack. I might stuff other stuff in it while I'm on the road, but starting off, that's about all I'm going to use. Okay, next thing up is my cook kit. So here's my little cook kit. And as you can see, they used to have a plastic bowl on the bottom, I guess for soup or whatever, but I accidentally set it on fire once. So it's a little lid. This is done. This lasted me uh, my full trip last year, which is about 10 days or so. Uh, of use that's pretty good 
Here's my little rocket stove and little pot handle. And those fit in here nicely. I'll put these in. Oh, wait, now I need to remember. Put the lighter in. So we'll put this in here. And you notice I'm not putting another fuel canister in. I could and actually probably should. It would save some space. But on the big trip, I'm going to make sure I don't run out. And I'm going to use a big canister. So I did this backwards. Let's just put the, the lid down. Not up. Oh well. There we go. So, okay, so that's wrapped up. So here's my propane. Or actually, it's not propane. It's isobutane. And here's my cup with an endless supply of coffee. I've been carrying that around forever. And these just stuff into the front roll bag. And the reason why is they're round. The front roll bag is round. Could I pack this front roll bag more efficiently? Yeah, I could. Okay, and the fuel. And there's still quite a bit of room there in that roll bag. And so that's also where I keep things like ponchos. Poncho. Not a very good poncho, but it's a poncho. And it would work. Put that in here. So it's nice and handy. So what I've learned is if you want to stay sort of dry, you need to uh, basically use a two-part system, rain jacket and then poncho on top of that. That's for heavy rain. For light rain, just use the rain jacket. So that's all I have for the front roll bag for now. So I'll wrap it up and uh, move on to the next item. Okay, this is something new for me. It's uh, a bag, a handlebar bag. So I'm gonna put sunscreen. I probably won't need that. Bug spray. These are both much bigger containers than I need. Wallet, knife with homemade sheath. Uh, and my microphone. And the camera will go in there as well, and the phone will go in there as well. And then the Art Garmin InReach Mini will clip somewhere on the outside. And so I'm just going to mount this over the handlebar. Not sure how this connects yet. The idea is maybe just right over the wall. So something like this. All right. And oh wait, let's see. No, let's. Something down there. So uh, let's see. Just get this in here. <laughs> and, and did that hold? I don't know if that'll hold. So I'm not sure exactly how to make it hold. There's little clips here too. These don't clip to anything. So I'll have to figure out how to make this hold, but the idea is that it'll just hang here on the front of my bag, on the front of my handlebars, over the roll bag. I guess you can't really see it. this around. You see how it's just going to hang there. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe carabiners or something will do the trick. I'm not sure. Okay, I figured it out. These little tiny bungees will probably work just fine. And actually they'll be handy for attaching other things to the bike. So I'll put the rest of them in the bag. Okay, hang on. It's okay. Okay, just locating missing pills there. Now, let's get this put in on this side. Well, I guess it'll be easier like this. So, I'm just gonna use these little bungees. I'll we'll wrap them around the handlebars and connect this like this. Oops, where did the little hook go? The hooks travel. Alright, we'll get that around there. Come on, there we go. And that can clip over there. And I'll do the 
the same over here. I'll put the little clip here underneath. And the other one, whoops, rats did not hold. <laughs> Come on, there we go. And the other one. Oh, I put it backwards. <laughs> All right, we'll try that again. Only we'll do it the right way this time. Right, it hangs down like this. So there's one. And here's the other. And now that might not be tight enough. If it's not tight enough, I'll just make the bungees tighter. But that should be the job. That way, and also there's a little shoulder strap for that, so I can put important stuff in there and uh, carry it around with me. So I also have a camera lens. So I got the little, the little Fuji film camera. I don't know if that'll fit as well as with the rest of the stuff, but we'll see. Constantly doing that. That looks like it fit okay. Zip it up. Okay, we're almost set here. We're pretty darn close. I need to get myself clothed and ready for the ride. A um, couple more odds and ends, but we're pretty much set. Yeah, also in this back bag, pump. There we go. And this water bottle, it's uh, empty right now. I'll fill it later. I don't need to carry it around for now. This will just clip right here. This works really well. I also have a cup holder. And this is a handlebar cup holder. So it's going to go right here. And it flips over like this. Oops, more Velcro issues. There we go, get that tucked in there. And it also connects to the stem here. There's a, a wrap around clippy thing here. Now the stem isn't as big as it was because I adjusted it a bit, but it should still clip onto this okay. Yep, yeah, there we go. And there's another another tie here. I'm not sure I have room to tie it with both, but it doesn't need to be super secure. And I use that to hold water bottles or uh, I have a nice light, super light thermos that I use. And when you want cold water or hot coffee to be with you, it's nice to have that thermos. So I'll show it to you later, assuming I find it. <laughs> Tent post and pegs are in here. I'm going to use those little bungees and I'm going to attach them to the seat bag. I don't know if this is good enough, but I'll learn maybe the hard way. But uh, you know, there's no easy way to connect these, so we sort of have to mess around with them a bit. I really don't like these little bungees. I'll make this nice and tight so that it hangs on. Make this one nice and tight as well. And hopefully they'll stay attached. If not, I'll come up with some other way to hold them on. So I might as well tie up my seat bag here. Side. And the other side is kind of behind the tent here. 
another clip. There it is. Don't have the tank poles, I should say. Alright. So that's that. Looking good. Oh, I almost forgot. Crocs. Super light and really good camp shoes. And believe me, after a full day of biking, you want to get the bike shoes off, maybe drying somewhere, and you want to put these on. I don't pack them in anywhere. I just clip them any place I can find a free clip. And that varies from time to time. So I'll put one here. I'll put the other one over here. Somewhere. Oops. And, oops, that's that one. So it's nice that they have that little strap that I can use to clip it on. And Crocs. Can't choose. Often that's the first thing I take off. I get up, take my bike shoes off, take my socks off, wring them out and put on the camp shoes. And then I can walk around comfortably setting up the tent and that. Here's what I'm going to wear. Biking gloves. Uh, these are my rain pants. I'll probably just pack these to start. Um, biking, my long sleeve biking shirt. Biking shorts because they're padded for my comfort. Long pants because it's wet and rainy out. Here's my rain jacket which I'll be wearing. And of course, never go out without it. The helmet. And that's her, I'm done. So that's the kit. That's the bike.